Shamai, how can we get our bass ukuleles sounding better? Now, I'm talking about tone, okay? The sound that your bass ukulele makes, tone. If we're going to go really technical, tomba. Um, but basically, I'm going to try and help you today make your bass ukes sound better. Now, the, obviously, this is a solid body. It's a cheap bass uke. Um, I will talk a little bit about other basses and do a couple of demos with them. But I just want to run through some things that we can do as bass players to make our tone better. So you can see I've got something a bit different going on today. I've got a little camera um, strapped to the top of the bass uke because hopefully that will show you uh, a couple of things when I'm talking about technique. Right. Most basic thing to get your bass sounding good, tune it. I know it sounds such a basic thing, but you wouldn't believe how many people don't tune their instruments every day. So um, if you've got an electroacoustic, they've normally got an inbuilt tuner. You could use a tuning pedal if you've got one. You could go old fashioned and tune it to a piano or something. If you've got a clip on tuner, these work perfectly well with basses. One little thing, um, a lot of these clip-on tuners have different settings, all right? So you're looking to make sure it's on the correct setting for your bass. For this one, for example, it's a B, okay? Um, if you've got one because you're playing ukulele as well, it could be that it says a U for ukulele, it could be G on guitar. Um, C means chromatic, that would work on your bass ukes as well, but clip on tuners, make sure it's set to a bass. Your bass is in tune, brilliant. The next really basic thing, and this catches me out every so often, nails, okay? Um, as a bass guitarist, that bright bass player at bass uke, um, I've always had very, very short nails. In fact, let's see if I'm true to form, yeah. Since I was a young kid, I've always carried nail clippers around with me, okay? Um, mainly to keep my left hand fingernails very, very short so I can stay on my fingertips, but also just to keep my right hand uh, nails trimmed. Now. Since I've been playing ukulele, I have found I leave my nails grow a lot longer. Um, it does help sometimes with strumming and such. However, <laughs> every so often, I go and play bass and think, what is that sound? What's that clicking sound? Is your nails too long? I normally find, if it's my index finger, I'm trying to work out, if you're looking at your finger, it's the left-hand side of the nail tends to be the bit that clicks on the strings, okay? Keep your nails nice and short. They should be short in your left hand anyway to be able to um, keep on your fingertips, whether you're playing bass ukulele, um, ukulele, or even guitar, all right? But your right hand fingernails are really important so you don't get horrible clicking sounds. Right, now the next two things that are gonna really help your tone, um, it's technique. Okay, I do cover these in bass lesson one. Um, but basically, your right hand, let's pop the amp back on a second. Okay, when you're plucking your strings with your right hand, you want to pull the string across. Okay, you don't want to be plucking the string away. Sorry if that hurt but you get the idea. It's not a nice sound if you're pulling the string away from the instrument. Try and keep it pulling it across. Now, hang on. There's something I've just got to alter a minute. Hang on. That sounds better. All right, I'm going to talk about tone and EQ and things a bit later, but obviously I'd set this up for the beginning of the video. So if I pluck the string away, you get that clacky sound. If you pull the string towards you, 
you get a much nicer, fuller sound and try and use the fleshy part of your finger. Okay, hopefully, camera at the top here, you can see I'm pulling my fingers across the string. Okay, so that's the first thing with technique that's going to help your tone. And your left hand, doesn't matter whether you're playing fretted, fretless, rubber strings like this one, round wound strings, flat wound strings, you have to press the string down hard enough to make a nice clean tone. Have a watch. That was pressed down properly. Okay, that wasn't pressed down really at all. And then that's what happens when you actually press on the frets. So your left hand technique should be pressing your strings down firmly in between the frets. Okay, so right hand pulling the strings across, left hand pressing down firmly. And really, to be able to do that well, you really need to have your thumb in the middle of the back of the neck, like this. Okay, now you do see bass players bringing their thumbs round, okay? What does happen then is you lose a lot of the strength in your fingers. All right, I know there are some brilliant bass players who do it as well, but especially if you're beginning, okay, try and keep your thumb in the middle of the back of the neck because that's the best way of getting pressure with your left hand. Okay, so we're in tune, we've got short nails, we're plucking our strings across, not away from the instrument and we are pressing our left hand fingers down properly in between the frets. Okay, now then, the next thing that can really help you is your EQ settings. Okay, you saw a moment ago I had a quick fiddle because when I first set this bass for uh, the video, I tried to find the worst EQ settings. Okay, so, you have a volume control on your basses, okay? If you're using an electroacoustic, which I will show you in a moment, all right, this still is important as well, but you need to have a go of these different controls to try and see what tone or sound you like the best, all right? So for example, if I turn everything, now bear in mind, I'm on my new bass amp today, all right, you can see it there. It's my new perfect mini rig. All right, so I'm still getting used to all the settings and things on that. Okay, but basically, if we're just looking at the actual instrument for a minute, okay, if I turn both treble and bass down, all right, you hear the difference then? It sort of sucks um, all the power away from your tone, okay? Now on this bass uke, the bottom control is your treble and your middle control is your bass. So if I turn the treble all the way up and the bass all the way down, a nice sound at all okay um also can you hear that because the treble is up so high it's sort of picking up all my little finger sounds okay i'm not going to talk about actual strings today sticky strings um that's a video in itself all right, I'm, I'm just talking about the things we can really change um, ourselves. 
it is worth noting if you've got really cold or really sweaty hands that can also affect the tone but at the minute let's just concentrate on the physical things that we can change so treble is turned all the way up now i'm plucking the strings across i'm pressing my fing fingers down with my left hand firm enough that is purely the sound of the bass not a nice sound so let's do the opposite for a second let's just see what we can do treble is all the way down bass is all the way up i don't know if this is going to rattle everything in the room it's changed the tone completely very boomy like that all right it's going to take you to find your own tones that you really prefer yes there are some that don't sound nice all right for this bass not talking about the amp for a minute but just for this bass my own favorite that i've i like is all the bass almost up full but back a little bit the treble there is, on this particular basis, there is what we call a sweet spot in the middle. There's like a little notch in the control so I know where it is in the middle. This one, I'm just turning just below the middle point and hopefully... All right, that's the sort of sound that I particularly like getting from this bass. So that just gives you a little idea on the, the controls on the instrument and how that can affect the actual sound. Whilst I've still got this bass for a second, um, I'm going to leave the controls here as they are and just give you a very, very quick idea of how you can alter the tone, but using the amp as well. Okay. So all I've done with the amp at the minute is turn the treble up and the bass and the mids down. Let's just have a little listen to see what that sounds like. Okay, again, it sort of sucked the life out of it a little bit. I'll just turn it the other way. So the treble is down, the bass is up, and the mids are sort of in the middle at the minute. Probably a bit too bassy, but this just gives you an idea of how you can tr control your tone um, using both your actual instrument the amp and a course things like technique. As I said, I've only just had this amp. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of playing with it before I really go into detail with that with you guys, all right? This is just a quick idea today on how you can shape your tone. Let's try some other basses. So different bass uke, um, electroacoustic. This one is fretless and we've lost the camera on the top, okay? Um, I was wondering why I was having neck dive a minute ago with that one. So um, I put everything now back as it was a minute ago on the amp. So it's not overly bassy. The way I use these EQs on these electroacoustics, I leave it flat, okay? The volume I turn up to full and then dial it back a little bit and leave the amp do the work. And I don't mess about with the EQs. I'm going to show you why now. So this is flat. Now I'm going to turn the EQ 
up fully and that generally makes it more trebly. All right, let's see what happens. Again, exactly the same as with my other bass, as soon as I turn the treble <clears throat> up on the instrument, you get a little bit more picked up from your actual fingers. I'm not talking about sticky strings. These aren't sticky at all. That's just the EQ doing that. Let's turn it the opposite way. So the EQ all the way down. Suddenly it became just too boomy. I was laughing because I was looking at my um, audio and whether or not it was going to clip out. It didn't, I hope. Okay. So the way I use these for tone is I don't mess about with the EQs. I leave that on flat and then I can alter it a little bit with my amp. Now, Burnham, I'm not going through any pedals or anything today. That's another way of altering your tone as well but I just want to keep it straightforward, instrument and amp. So I've gone very much treble um, on the amp and less bass. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's go the opposite. So I've turned the bass up, the treble down and the mids are back to about flat. It's going to be about finding your own tone at the end of the day, all right? If you can get the physical things right, like tuning and technique and things, it really is about getting to know your amp and your bass. Last but not least, I had to get the um, California U bass out. So let's just have a quick listen of the actual tone control on here. So this is, again, this one's got a little bit of a sweet spot so I can tell the middle. So both tones are on flat. Let's go full on with the treble and uh, nothing on the bass. Okay, you can get your tone really wrong if you don't know what you're doing or if you're not listening to what you're doing. Let's go the opposite, full on bass, no treble. Again, it's just too much. Now, bearing in mind, I'm using a tiny little amp. It's not tiny in terms of power. It's 175 watts, all right? But it is only a little 10 inch speaker, okay? And it's still producing that kind of boom. So again, I always find I take off the treble, I put a little bit on the bass is my preferred tone. And then again, All right, treble up on the amp, bass down. Okay, you can ruin your tone by um, doing strange things with your amp. So I've gone very bassy now with the amp. That's oh, okay. I like bass, but that's just too much for me anyway. And I've taken the mids out on this. So again, you, you suck away a lot of the tone by doing that. So hopefully that's given you an idea of some of the tones that you can achieve and some tones you probably shouldn't achieve. 
Um, as I said at the beginning, tune, really important, okay? Nails, keep them nice and short. If you're hearing a clicking sound, it could be as simple as your nail is catching the string, okay? Um, your two technical things, your right hand pulling the strings across the instrument, not away and your left hand making sure you were pressing those strings down firmly in between the frets, not on them, all right? And then the one thing that really only you can decide on is what tone are you trying to achieve, whether you're using the controls on your actual bass ukes or whether you're using the tones and the EQs on your amp or even if you're going a stage further and using effects pedals as well. Okay, I do hope this has helped a little bit. Um, it's subjective, it really is entirely up to you what kind of tone you were trying to achieve, but there are some tones, whether it's because of technique or whether it's because you've got clicking nails or an out of tune bass, you just don't want. Please feel free to leave a comment below if you've got a question or a comment. Give us a like uh, if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.